All right, we are following breaking news out of Berlin where a truck has plowed through a Berlin Christmas market. I want to go straight now to an eyewitness who was on the scene, Emma Rushton. Emma, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. So, Emma, can you just set the scene and just tell us what exactly you saw? So we were uh, wondering, it's the first day in um, Berlin for me, I've never been before. Uh, we went down to the Christmas market, we're enjoying the Christmas lights and some mulled wine. Um, and we were sat, and I broke my leg a few years ago, so we have to sit for a little bit longer than we would normally. Um, and as we were sat, we were ready to get up and we heard a loud bang. Um, and we started to see to our left that Christmas lights were being torn down and then we started to see the top of um, an articulated truck, a lorry, um, just crashing through the, the stalls and through people. So, so Emma, are you still there right now? Are you still at the scene? No, we, we left. We, had, we wanted to get out of there as soon as possible because we just didn't know exactly what was going on or what was going to happen and we just wanted to get to a safe place. So we're, we're now back at our hotel. Okay, good. Um, I'm just wondering, when you saw this driver sort of plough into the Christmas market, did it seem to be an, an accident? What could you tell from what you saw? For, for my, my opinion, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert, but it was going at 40 miles per hour. There was no roads nearby and there was no signs of slowing down. It, it didn't look, it didn't feel like it was an accident. Okay, so just to recap what you're saying, you're saying that this truck, as it was plowing through this Christmas, Christmas market, it was going at a quite significant speed, 40 miles per hour. There were no roads nearby, so it was actually going through the thick of the market, the thick of it. Um, yeah. And you're saying so it showed no signs of slowing down. There's a, a main road to the side of it, but there's no way it could have just come off that as an accident. It was through the middle of the market. How far away were you from this truck? about eight feet and did you actually witness people getting hurt people getting injured from this truck yeah. so the the stall where we bought our mulled wine from um mm -hmm. was completely decimated everybody who was inside it serving was crushed underneath it they're all out they're all okay um but then when we walked out to the side of it there were people bleeding there were people lying in the pavement and i i wanted to stop and help but we were concerned for our safety first so we, we just had to get out of there. Yeah, that, that, that's understandable. Did, did you see um, police officers or ambulance get to the scene? Did you stay long enough to actually see yeah. that side of it? police were on the scene very, very quickly. Ambulances are still, we can hear them going past our hotel room because we're on the street where the Christmas market is. We're probably about half a mile away. So there are lots of emergency services going up and down our street at the moment. You mentioned that the truck showed no sign of slowing down, which is actually a frightening thing to hear. Um, do you know if the truck actually, I mean, obviously at, at some point the truck did come to a complete stop. Do you know what happened after that? No, no, we were too shaken. And my first thought was I need to ring my mum. So I got straight on the phone and just said, I'm in Berlin, I'm safe and we need to get out of here. And that was, that was what we did.